power movie to all seeing camera and we back to the channel with another one not just anyone drizzy drake dropped another visual today off scary hours aka for all the dogs but this was the last track off the deluxe which was the scary hours three i believe the last track was you broke my heart and if you guys know this track you know this is a heavy hitter. This was actually one of my favorite out of the six tracks, so I'm super happy that we got a visual for this. I still want some visuals. I still want visuals for the regular for all the dog songs, though. There's still tracks that I want visuals for from the album, so I hope he's not done and he's still going to go back and double up, but I am happy that we got a visual for You Broke My Heart. Anybody else, comment down below. How did you feel about this album? I loved it. I loved it for all the dogs. I even liked the deluxe with the additional six tracks. Fire. I liked it all. What did you guys think? There was a lot of mixed emotions for all the dogs. I love that. You guys saw we even did an unboxing for the album merch on this channel. We even went to the Drake show live. If you haven't seen either one of those, I suggest you go check that out. But today, we are here to discuss what we have in front of us. As we usually do, I just like to see if they shout anything out in the description. We got away from that, but let's get to it. Let me see if there's anything in the description he wants us to see. Nothing in the description at all. It dropped today, the 20th. You guys see the views are going up currently as we speak. I want to say it dropped around 2 p.m. East Coast time. I'm not too sure, but that's around the time that I noticed it, that I got an alert. I am super excited. I want to see the visual on here. And right to the right side there, you can see somebody. Oh, that's an O-head. For some reason, I thought that was Central C sitting with him having dinner that looks like oh hey let's get into it. but right before we get into this guys like the video subscribe to the channel we on the road to 10,000 subs we just passed that 5k let's get to that 10 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see it's Christmas holiday theme which is a good thing is this something we're gonna keep playing every single year how much does the video actually play into the holidays you could just hear the little jingle bells in the beginning we were just having a discussion if if die hard is considered a Christmas movie now is Drake's you broke my heart considered a Christmas miracle Y'all let me know. I didn't like her. Yeah, I know. I think she might have been the wrong girl anyway. Well, <laughs> what now? <laughs> Comment down below if you guys know who that, oh, that's a director. <laughs> you tell me. Am I tweaking? Ain't that the nigga from Lyrical Lemonade or am I tweaking? I might be tweaking. Oh, that might be him. Kind of glad she got <laughs> I'm kind of glad she got <laughs> <laughs> God bless her heart. Mm. God bless her. Yeah, God bless her. Let's see what else is out there. That's what we need to do. Get, hey, get that boy more some banana. Mm -hmm. 10 by Look, 42. <laughs> the man from many bodies. Screenshots off plenty. That's the same Virgil piece in just a white colorway. We saw him wearing the black one in the 8 a.m. in Charlotte. Now we see him wearing the white one. Shout out to Virgil. Rest in peace, Virgil. Shout out to Off-White. Rest in peace to Legacy, man. Virgil left us with a lot of, lot of gems. Voice knows bag, plenty hotties. Can't just talk to me like... Also, I don't think there's a dude from Lyrical Lemonade, because wouldn't we have seen the logo to the lower hand, lower left hand or right hand corner? I don't see Lyrical Lemonade called out. I don't think that's... Anybody can't just talk to me like anybody, man. You bitches know that I'm a somebody. And little baby bad, she got a charm body. Bunch of feelings I just couldn't shake Disrespect that I just shouldn't take You just couldn't see the good in Drake Four months, not a long time But you fuck somebody in my heart You broke my heart Yeah, yeah. You just believe Nah, don't hit me with the Scarface Scarface yeah. didn't hit the button There was kids in the car now you feel good to kill a mother and a kiss, huh? Now you feel big, like you big man. What do you think I am? You think I killed two kids and a woman? That. I don't need that shit in my life. You die. Drizzy, no. Drizzy, no. Ooh. Why they keep killing Drake? Drake, stop dying in your music videos, my nigga. You giving me anxiety. Last time you got blown up like battleships, kind of like that movie with the Somalian pirates. I'm the captain now. Like, relax. Relax, now you blowing up like casino, like stop it. Make me feel these days, coming out my body for your baby girl. Wipe them like you snotty for you. Stop it, I was hoping them girls had a little, a little something right. A little something right. But I can see from them winter jackets, their heart is as cold as the environment. Lord, Drake, no! Alright, when's Drake? Bring that nigga back in the back, come on. 
pretty nigga like I sing with pretty Ricky. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that a pretty Flacco ball? You guys gotta let me know sometimes if I'm forcing it. You guys gotta let me know sometimes if I'm forcing it. But you know I'm still a fan of all this shit. So all I do is really just listening to music and trying to digest these balls. And be like, ooh, who is Drake probably talking to right now? Because there's no way you're telling me Drake was just right. The nigga that received that ball knows who he is. Was that a pretty Flacco ball once again? You guys know he already said it once. And he's anti, anti, I'm anti over you. That was to you know who? I'm just, none of this is confirmed though. This is just all coming from the top of my head and me just being a fan of all parties. You guys know, I always tell you Flacco's in Mount Rushmore for me. Niggas look at me crazy like Flacco. Flacco who? A diet supplement? Cause I know for damn sure you're not talking about ASAP Rockies on your Mount Rushmore, I know. Nah, I know, I know I'm tweaking. Rocky don't even deserve to be that high in my heart. I should have had Future up there. I should have had Thugger up there. There's like a lot of artists I could name, but it's just a connection between me and Flacco's music, Pretty Flacco, whatever you niggas might call him, ASAP Rocky, Kem, whatever you you might call him depending who he is to you i just always always really like the mob and i always really been a fan of flacco since day one mixtapes albums i know there's not even that much music out there but what he's done i hold that shit right there drake's up there as well kanye up there as well and wayne up there as well yeah i'm gonna throw wayne up there my tour and leave a lazy nigga dizzy got more tracks and when the hair salon is busy no but they Hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad. I want to tell that pretty Ricky bug. Shells like Amazon distribution center. Hell, really hate to call Obrowski for the dirty work. I'd rather do it by myself. Clack, clack, clack. My tour ride and leave a lazy nigga dizzy. Got more tracks and when the hair salon is busy. Flow for days like that river, Mississippi. Freaky nigga like I sing with pretty Ricky. He said, freaky nigga, like I sing with Pretty Ricky. All right, I knew it. I was like, damn, I never caught that Flacco ball before. Because it's not a Flacco ball. There. You see, sometimes we reach. That's why there's a flag on the... <laughs> Blow the whistle. There was a flag on the play. There was a flag on the play. No Flacco ball. No Flacco ball. Yeah, freaky nigga, like I sing with Pretty Ricky. Yo, stop smoking there in your reactions, my nigga. Because you're trying to start war out here. Like, you're trying to amp it. Now, you know what's crazy? That's the old me coming through, just amping shit. For the niggas that know me, that's cool me in real life that's the old me coming through like the green goblin i'm fighting that nigga off look at this look at this i'm trying to make it something come on son relax you keeping these lyrics on here too now because you really been bugging up. like i sing with pretty ricky huh yeah yeah got that ad lips from smicky nails done but my trigger finger itchy clutching on the blicky shit is getting tricky people love to diss me i hear every single thing man i'm all ears like i took the fan of disney guess that's one way to tell me that you miss me Great. Yeah. Didn't Dipset use that sample before? Damn. Was it? It wasn't. I'm ready. Was it? That's your miss. Yeah. My diplomats, I need you to comment down below because I'm just on the top of my head. You broke my heart. I had my doubts about you from the start. Push the edge like bird. On Instagram digging up dirt. You wanna smoke with me first? Well, this one gon'. And once again, like we talked about before on first person shooter, shooter Drake does those bars a lot. Where he, where he includes the crowd or different places because he knows he will be performing. Now everybody scream F your ex. You know when you go to the live Drake, we gonna be there for leg two. And when we there for leg two, I'm gonna have footage and I'm gonna look at the camera. Like that girl when the meme was burnt, when the house was burning in the back. I'm telling you, we already know this. The Drake fans, y'all like, yo, he ain't even saying nothing new. I'm not saying nothing new to Drake support. But when I hear people talking about the lyrical balls and everything about first person shooter and cold killing Drake and all this, I get it. You can like whoever you like. But when I hear people point out the balls that weren't really hitting like that, I'm like, you gotta understand why he put certain things in his verse. And things like that when he's talking to the crowd and stuff, he knows he's gonna be performing this to a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people. Oh my, oh my, oh my, and this is when the beat turns oh off and just hold the microphone out. Girls gonna be just like this in the actual show. There's gonna be shorties like this looking at each other with their homegirls that came, dudes that came together. I'm telling you, that's gonna be a part where everybody goes crazy. My ex, unless you with your new John, then you don't really want to be showing any emotions to your ex. Worry about your girl that you with right there. Worry about your, worry about your girl, boyfriend, whoever you with at this show now. If you, if you not single, you gotta, you know. 
or if you get too emotional and show it's like, yo, why are you singing that shit? Now, you know, I, I'm just happy to see Drake. I'm not ex. Well, I wasn't even thinking about it. I got no smoke with any ex, but you keep me in the song with a really like that. I got no beef. I got no beef. That is a cool thing in life, though, but I got no beef with any ex out there. It's not many of the ones that are out there. I got no beef with y'all at all. That's a great thing. Salute to y'all. Salute to y'all. Salute to me, because we both grown people. Salute my ex. Lying to my face, thought you would have shown a little grace. How can I expect someone who never had their own place to know their damn place? Treat me like I'm dumb. I love like those bars. Oh, I love like those bars. You on your head when you was one of some. Oh, my. Hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. Oh, my. We would have got clapped already. He's moving too much. They would put us on a t-shirt. Oh, so y'all talk to me. Is this the same exact set that Offset had in that video with Kaisenai and Phantom? Like, are these niggas all renting the same studio? This looks really similar. Put his hand up like an end of a horror film directed by theo shakura i hope i pronounced your name correctly something's telling me i said that last name wrong but shout out to you this was a cool video there's still mad time left so let's see what else is gonna unveil i did wish drake didn't pass away i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not gonna lie to you guys the johns were cool for about 22 seconds after the 22 seconds i'm like bring my nigga back Bring him back now. You guys remember Hurt Me by Tory Lanez. They brought Tory back like a wolf man. He was running through and they ended up bring Drake back the same way. Somebody called the sexy scientist from that video because I need Drake back. Hair clips, hair clips and all. Shout out to you guys in this video. Co-starring. Damn, co-starring Drake. Oh, right there. Is that Morgan? No, that can't be. I can't lie to you. I'm not the best at trivia when it comes to people. I don't know who that is. Some of you guys are probably like, oh my god, you don't know who that is? I probably know his work and just don't even know his name. For my dubs, just relax, relax, big fella. I ain't even going fast for this. Shout out to everybody here, man. I want you guys to get your credit. You guys put an amazing project together, an amazing project together. I don't know how much other stuff you worked on, but just the fact that you worked on this with Drake, you got one on the about that's fire. Theo directed and edited this. Fire, fire, fire. I know I've seen that name around a lot. Oh, right there, Jake. I still don't know who that is. That was too fast. Kodak, uh, Kodak as well. Scary Hours 3. What's funny is that homies there like talking about Shorty, like, you know what? We don't even care about him. More Jones outside. Let's see what's outside, what Drake tells him. Let's see what's outside. Let's see what's outside. They turned you boys into 4th of July. Like, nah, that was crazy. And y'all went out litty. Like, he was at the Honda he be talking about, the Honda Civic, the Atna Civic. I forgot exactly what he calls the drink. But I've seen the video before. I'm sure you guys seen it too. He mixes like a tequila can. Don't know if that's it, but that looks like it. I, you see the video? Good marketing. Whoever that company is, that part with good marketing. Good marketing. Look, the commercial and the marketing still stay in my I didn't even try the bev. I think of it because I remember that funny short. It was hilarious. But here, Drake is getting lit on whatever he's getting lit on. They're going outside, having a good time. Homie sounds like he just broke up with his John or broke up with his ex. And I'm not sure if that's both of their exes outside waiting for them niggas. And they just hit him with the kabawi. But you guys see what I what happens and plays out. Again, I wish Drake was in more of the video but i understand he was trying to get a visual trying to get an idea being creative thinking outside the box we always applaud these things it was like a mini film but i just wish there was a little more sections to it i don't know i don't know show me drake in heaven i just want to see drake for like 10 more seconds in this video polls i feel like i gotta say polls because i keep saying i want to see another nigga so bad but we clicked this video just thinking it was gonna be more sectors to it it was cool how the car exploded passed away shorties even went crazy we see the cops pulling up it was cool but for six minutes you should have shown me you breaking up with jacks and then led into this at least a minute in or two minutes in just to make it a little bit shorter of girls outside performing the whole track but i'm happy we got a visual because at the end of the day i play these songs all the time i really haven't went crazy with scary hours i'm not gonna lie to you because art basil was last week i've been really busy and for some reason i've just been going crazy again in utopia it's like i'm that shit hypnotized me like they be saying these crazy conspiracy theories not nah, he got me i don't think nobody ever got me before but utopia that shit got me because i be listening to other things and i'm like yo this is fire oh my god and i blink my eyes and for some reason i just hear fade Thing. Like, hold on, how do we get here? How am I back here? Other than Utopia, the, the artist I've been playing the most in the album, I did my yearly wrap up is Drake. Drake became, Drake came in strong. So don't take that any way. Oh, my Drake supporters out there, you know, I'm a huge Drake supporter. My favorite 
one of my favorite artists of all time. But yeah, um, I feel like I got to give Scary Hours a couple more spins. I did play a heavy like the first week and then I just started sliding away from it. So I definitely would go heavy. And I'm not even saying I went heavy away from the album. No, I'm still playing for all my dogs as well. Utopian for all my dogs is on spins. It's just a Scary Hours edition. I got to just keep playing that one. I don't know what's wrong with me that I keep going back to click the version that I already had. Just the dog cover on it. I got to play this one because this has all the tracks in it. But you guys comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this. Are you a fan? Did you like it? Did you love the visual? Did you like the song? I think the song is gas. I love it. But what did you guys think about all? Was you a fan? Was you not a fan? Please let me know down below. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. We're on the road at 10,000 subscribers. Sub up, sub up. We get out of here before we get out of here. Before we get out of here. Back on tour in January. So for those that never got to see Drake the first leg, I'm telling you, you should take advantage of that because artists like that, when they go heavy on tour like this or back to back, we don't really know when they're going again. So I would suggest on going to see them. Uh, uh, let's drop a comment for Drake down below. This track is out of here, but it's going to be even more amazing in person. Can't wait for leg two. Let me know down below if you guys are planning on going to Drake's tour next year in 2024. If so, let me know what city. Maybe you guys will catch me out there vlogging and getting content. But subscribe, like the video. We out of here.